You are looking live right now at the Orion spacecraft on the launch pad at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. That Artemis One countdown clock showing we are right now 58 minutes. Yes, we are under an hour from the scheduled launch time. That launch is supposed to happen at 7.33 this morning. Well, also in Florida, Way 31 anchor Dan Schaefer. So, Dan, as people across the country count down with us to this historic launch, got to be a nail-biting time for those engineers trying to just get all those last-minute details in place, including, you said, some concerns. Yeah, th there have been, Chris, in fact, a lot of bloodshot eyes around here, not just from the media who have been here since, you know, before midnight, but for these engineers who have sweated this for days now, getting this uh, vehicle ready for launch. And, yes, there have been some nail-biting moments. It all started just after midnight. Carson mentioned some of the weather concerns. Well, there was rain on the Cape. In fact, we saw live shots of, of Artemis 1 being doused with rainwater at about midnight, between midnight and, say, 1.30 in the morning. There was also lightning, so that is a no-go for tanking. So they had to put that off for almost an hour before they were able to fill these, these tanks with that cryogenic fuel. This is the core stage right here. And they fill those to feed these RS-25 engines. Those are recycled shuttle engines. They had a slight leak, but they got that worked out. Again, all these, end, these uh, tanks now are full, and they're ready to go. They're being topped off. When you look at a live shot of the, of the rocket, you'll see vapors coming out from the sides of it. That's what's happening. They're topping off that, and that fuel is so cold, it immediately starts to boil away. Uh, and that's what you're seeing, that vapor from the liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen. Let's go downstairs to the engines here. These, again, these RS-25 engines. This is probably the biggest glitch they're working right now. This cropped up uh, probably about an hour ago. Well, in order to start these engines, they have to be primed with uh, super cold coolant. It runs all through the engines so that they're not shocked when that fuel, which is at minus 300 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, hits them. So they prime this. It's called a bleeding procedure. Well, the number three engine is not taking that bleeding procedure, so they're working on that. That could be a, a no-go for launch if they don't get that worked out. The good news is, as you mentioned, the launch uh, countdown is about, if you include L-, minus, it's about an hour and a half away. The launch, uh, T-56, minus but there's a built-in 30-minute hold. So 7.33 in Huntsville. That's the scheduled liftoff time. It's a two-hour window, though, so they have all the way until 9.33 to try to get these technical issues worked out. If they can, they'll lift off as long as the weather holds and nothing else crops up. So that's what everybody is hoping here. We are constantly monitoring NASA for an update for this uh, problem to see how they're troubleshooting it and whether they can get this to work. But if that doesn't get fixed, that may be a no-go for launch, so we'll keep you posted on that. Chris?